Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today, very different because I'm not playing the event because I'm basically 100% done. And if you're grinding Guda Guda 3 uh, at the last minute, good luck with that because it's mission-based. So, Godspeed, everyone out there doing it. Now, today's video is going to be about something uh, completely different. So, to explain, especially if you don't play Fate, I guess, and you're watching this, um... For the anniversary, we usually get something called the Lucky Bag Summon. That we can see right here, Lucky Bag. Um, and it's basically a guaranteed SSR, which costs... Uh, usually it's 30, but for the first time it's going to cost 15. And uh, depending on when you do it, there's usually two a year. One's at New Year's and one's for the anniversary. Uh, which the anniversary is coming up, of course. So I wanted to kind of quickly go through it and see which one I because I've been having a little bit of doubt over which one I should actually summon on uh, the reason that I had doubt is that I recently actually I was actually able to pull Okita Altar um, Okitan which my entire basis of going extra class was under the idea that I did not pull her and now that I pull her I'm not sure which one I should go so that's gonna be today's video I'm gonna kind of look through all the units that are in it talk a little bit about them give my general feelings about them and see I kind of try and come to the decision which one I kind of want to do. Uh, and that's the end of today's video, so if you end up liking it, remember to leave a like. I'll try and be a little bit helpful, because maybe you don't fully understand why some units are good and some units aren't. Um, and this is also an important thing to remember. Sometimes people just like units that aren't very good, but they're their favorite character. So they kind of make them as good as they need them to be. <laughs> Alright, so let's get into it. Let's start here. So this one is bro broken up, and this one's different because there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight banners to pick from. You can only pick one of them. And they're all basically, uh, they're all, all of them except for the extra class, are broken up into a singular um, class. So here's the ones that are going to be available for Saber class. Uh, you got Arthur Pendragon Prototype, Altera, Artoria uh, Pendragon, which is her. Um... Um, Sigurd, I can't pronounce his name correctly, Sieg, he's Sieg, but a uh, different kind of Sieg, uh, you got Nero Bride, you got Mo, you got um, uh, Shiki right here, and Okita, did I mention Okita? Yeah, I totally mentioned Okita. Uh, the stars here mean that they're actually limited, so um, not something with not a limited star means that they're always in the banner. So let me just quickly run through them. I have I already have Nero Bright at MP2. I have Mo. I don't have Musashi. I don't have um, Male Arthur. I don't have Saber. I have Saber, actually. Uh, Saber came right after I pulled Mo. No, actually, I pulled Saber first randomly. And then two single tickets later, Mo showed up. I don't have Shiki. I can't. I don't have Sigurd, and I don't plan to really pull on his banner all that much. Uh, I have Altera, and I don't have Okita. So... This one's kind of going to be weird to me just because the units that I do have available of the ones that I do want, the only two that really stand out to me are Sigurd and uh, Musashi over here. Um, I just have never been a big fan of Male Arthur in terms of his look, and he's just kind of a weird different version of Saber over here. Uh, Shiggy's fine. She's just insta-death related, and I don't really feel like building a team specifically for her. Now here's the kind of bad of it, is that I really don't, don't want an MP3 of Nero Bride. I'm fine with MP2. MP2. And getting an MP... Um, oh, and Akita's actually okay with me. So those three. So I'm okay with her, I'm okay with him, and I'm okay with her. I don't want her at MP2. I don't want her at MP1. I don't want her at MP2. I wouldn't mind at MP2, and I don't need her at MP3. So I think Saber's just kind of, kind of be a... You know what? Actually, now that I look through it, this one's a maybe. I'm going to throw it on the maybe pile. Let's look at Archer. Okay, so we got Arjuna, Napoleon, Tesla, Orion, uh, Gilgamesh, uh, Saber Summer, Ishtar, and uh, Moriarty over here. Or I believe he's known as the Archer Shinjuku, because uh, if you have not beaten his uh, End of Road EOR or something... Epic of Remnant. There you go. That's the name. Um, okay. So here's the ones I have. I have Arjuna, I have Ishtar, and I have a Saber Summer, Summer at MP, MP level 1. I wouldn't actually mind her 
getting an NP2. I also wouldn't mind Ishtar getting NP2. I wouldn't mind having uh, Moriarty once. Gil I actually hate as a character, but he's good, so I would kind of be okay with. I don't really have any strong feelings toward Napoleon. Maybe once I see him in story that will change. I actively hate Arjuna, because he's NP2. I already have him in NP2, and I wouldn't want any other copy. I'm kind of ambivalent toward Tesla and Orion. I really like for reasons that I can't really fully understand. That's Artemis. Orion is the bear. Artemis is the goddess right here. This one right here. Um, honestly, I think Archer is the one that I just don't want to summon on, because I think the idea of pulling an MP3 Arjuna, someone who I absolutely would not want, is enough to make me not wanna. <laughs> That's borderline uninstall the game territory for me. So let's just put Archer in the no class. Um, I think for the average person though, this is a pretty okay banner considering that it has Gilgamesh and it has Ishtar in it. Two units that are fantastic at uh, what they do. She's also great. He's also pretty okay from what I remember. Arjuna, as much as crap as I give him, he's okay. Napoleon I think is actively kind of bad, but I. I don't know his kit well enough to comment more. Tesla is also good, and Artemis is hated for some reason, so I don't know about that. I always thought that she had a very interesting skill set, but not everyone agrees with that. Let's go on to Lancer. We got Skahach. I think I pronounced that wrong, but it's okay. Uh, we got Enkidu. We got Ereshkogel. I just wish I completely fucked up that name. We got uh, Saber Lancer. We got Kam Kama. Yeah, it's Karna. Karna Nakama. I forget, there's two different K Indian servants. Um, Summer Fox and Brynhildr. Uh, let me see. This one is actually funny because the only one I don't have of... The only one of these that I have is Skahach. Skahach. Skahak. Skatch. Skahak. There you go, Skahak. Um... I wouldn't mind her having her at NP2. I wouldn't have, wouldn't mind having Mud. I wouldn't. I sure as hell would love having her. I would love to have her. I think I would be okay with having him. I'd love to have her, and I'd love to have her. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, this one, might be the one that I have the closest one I should summon. The only reason I don't want her at NP, the only re I, I wouldn't mind her at NP2, but I really don't use her anymore just because she's already Bond 10, and I'm the kind of person that doesn't use a unit once they're Bond 10. Um, not yet, anyway, until we get those special cups. They're not in NA yet. All right, let's look at Ryder. All right, now this is a heavy hitter of a team. We got Fran. Uh, we got we got Drake. We got Mave. That's how you pronounce her name. We got Quetzalcoatl. We got Saber Alter Summer. Uh, Ozymandias, aka Ramses. Uh, we got Carrot Boy. We got. Um, I'm trying to remember this man's name without looking. It's Ivan. There you go, it's Ivan. And this is Iskandar. Iskandar? Iskandar. 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 Um, all these are pretty solid-ass units. Drake's great for farming. Uh, it, uh, Ishtar. <laughs> this is not Ishtar. Um, Iskandar is super powerful, and I really love his animations and everything. Ivan, I think I remember, I don't know a lot about him, but he looks cool, and that's good enough for me. He also looks cool, and he's also very good for grinding as well. Ozymandias is like one of the very few writer uh, support units that's actually fantastic at what he does. Uh, Summer Saber is maybe the one that's the most niche because she's so quick oriented and usually towards herself. Um, but I actually really like using her, and I think she's a pretty fun unit. Quetzalcoatl is my number one unit ever. Honestly, Oh, and also she uh, fucks dudes to death, so that's fantastic. I would love to summon on this banner to get an NP2 copy of Quetzalcoatl here, but the chances of me actually getting her at NP2 are very small. Still, I'm going to put this one at top of the want level. Let's move on to the next one. All right. Now, this is a, this is a hell of a lineup. We got Ilya, Magical Girl Ilya. We got Waver. We got... Um, I cannot pronounce her name. Um, Shizurzade? Shirazade? Yeah, Shirazade. Um, the way I pronounce, remember to pronounce her name is that she's in the song by Genie in Aladdin. Shirazade had a thousand tails. There you go. Uh, we got Foxwife, um, Merlin, Nero, Summer, Da Vinci Chan, and Titty Monk. 
everyone's favorite, aka uh, Zuanzong, which I can never pronounce her name, which is why I always go straight to Titty Monk. Um, this one, I don't have Merlin, and Merlin's one of the best dudes in the entire game. I do have him at NP2, which is the reason why I really don't want to summon on here, because I think the only one of these units that I have are... One, I have Waver, and I have Zhuangzong. I wouldn't mind a, a second MP2 copy just because to make just to make her MP hit harder. Um, I would love Da Vinci. I would love Nero. I wouldn't mind Merlin. He's fantastic. He's not my favorite character. I would actively hate to, uh, getting Fox Wife. I don't like her gameplay very much. Um, she is very nice to look at, though. Uh, Russian woman. I can't remember her name. I completely skipped her. I don't even remember what she does. Not very interested in what to have her. Ilya is pretty strong from what I remember. She's very niche because she has the same niche as Song Zong over here. And Sherazade is also very niche, but I like the way she looks. So bonus points for me. I don't know. I'm going to put this somewhere in the middle. I'm not sure if I would... You know, obviously if you're a new player and you need any of these supports... Like, if you need Merlin or you need Waver, it's actually kind of, it's super worth it, in my opinion, to summon. Uh, but for me, as someone with an MP2 copy of Waver, I just don't, I don't want to risk it. <laughs> I really don't want to risk it. All right, we're now on Assassins. We got Gramps over here. We got uh, Japanese Neat that I can't remember the name of. We got Jack. Mysterious Heroine X. Uh, Semiramis. Uh, Cleopatra. And Shuten. And of these units that I have, I think I only have Cleo, Jack, and that's it. Um, I wouldn't mind shooting. I would love a Semiramis. I tried to pull for a dang getter. I've also tried hard to get um, Mysterious Hero and X. I don't think she's very good, though, from what I remember. She's not the best unit in the world. She's a very good, cool-looking unit. Um, I don't know if that's enough to push her over the top for me, though. Um, Jack is already MP1. MP2, she'd be fine. And King Asan is so badass. But I hate... I don't know if I want him specifically. Just because I'm already pretty much well served by Jack. So I don't really need another single target assassin. Hmm. I think I'm going to put... The, for me personally, I'm going to put this on the same level of caster. Where I'm like, eh, kind of. I feel like there's a good, good enough value here for me to summon. But I actually don't want to summon. That's kind of how I feel. Berserker. This is a hell of a... This is hell. Alright, let's go here. Mysterious Hero in X, right here, Alter. We got Vlad, Mama, um, Nightingale, Ku Alter, um, Kintoki, there you go, that's your name. Not Gintoki, Kintoki. And Pickle Man. Okay, so let's... This is one's really rough, because of these, I really only want... Personally, I only really want Mama. I would be fine with a Kentucky. I would be fine with Kualter. I already have her. Already have him. Wouldn't actually mind her, but I don't really... She's not on the top of the list of what I want. He's NP2. And this man right here is the reason why I don't want to ever pull on this Berserker, um, Berserker GSSR. Because if he got to MP3, I think I would actively hurt myself. Just because, as a unit... He's not the best. He's actually, I only ever use him during the Gouda events just because his kit is so bad <laughs> because it doesn't really help him with anything. Um, he wants, he's a unit who wants to be basically close to one HP as possible, but he doesn't have guts. So if you don't supply that guts to him, he, I think he's actually kind of terrible. But um, during Gouda Gouda, he hits like a freaking Mac truck. So I like keeping him around for them. Um... Mama's fantastic for farming. She's probably one of the best farmers um, in general. Uh, at least I think so. Nightingale I already have, and I really don't need NP copies of her because she's a healing class unit. I like her skills. I like her as a character. Don't want her, though. And Ku Alter is probably one of the best berserkers for for um, solo play. If you just need a unit that's like, I need someone to survive to the end of this round, Ku Alter's there, but... I really don't want Vlad. Vlad's okay. I just don't want another copy of him. Um, it once he has all his skills buffs, he's he ends up being a pretty good unit. Um, but just not one I'm super interested in. And it, he a lot of his skills require a lot of, I think what I remember bones, and that sucks. Uh, I think Mama might be the same. An extra class. All right, this is the last one. Um, Berserker. I would rate the same level of don't want to summon as Archer. <laughs> personally. As much as I love her. Oh god, I love you. Alright, let's go to extra class. 
All right, here's how it goes. We got Okitan, we got Sherlock, we got Horny Nun, we got Melt, we got uh, Horny Artist, we got uh, Gene Alter, we got Regular Gene, we got Abby, we got uh, Dantes, and we have Shitty Priest. Okay. Um, Shitty Priest ends up being very good for farming, I think. He ends up being one of the best AoE targets for rulers, and it's because his NP removes buffs. And that's really good. Um, Dantes ends up being great for Scotty quick memes. Uh, I do need Scotty to do that, and she will be released around this time, but I don't know about that. I don't know about summoning for that. Um, Abby's really cute, and I would love her. Jean, this one right here, I really don't want. She, Her playstyle is something I'm not interested in. I haven't used a Jean friend since, I think, year one of the, video, of the game. So I really don't want her. Um, Gene Alter, I would be okay with having. I'm gonna get her Berserker for summer, so it's not like the end-all be-all. Would love to get, um, she has a very interesting playstyle because it's arch-related. I don't really want Tamomomo, though, or Foxwife, so I don't, she's like the main support I think you'd use with her, so I don't really want her for that, but she'd be really fun to have. Melt. I think I only want her because I like her from the story. I can't remember really what she does. I think she's single target um, alter ego, which is good, which is fine, uh, but not the the end all be all. I wouldn't mind an NP2 copy of Kiara, and I wouldn't mind NP2 of Okitan. They're both basically serving the same function. Ooh, and Sherlock's a cool dude, and I wouldn't mind a Sherlock. Yeah, extra class ends up. The other thing that I should mention is that there's going to be a three. The only three for this class is, um, where is he? It's, um, Celiara, Soliari, S Antonio Soliari, he's this guy, let me click on it, you should be able to see, yeah, this guy, he's really cool, um, you're guaranteed him, and he's a three, and it's really hard to pull him, uh, except for on this GSSR. <sighs> Now that I look at this, I really don't want him. Personally, I don't want this guy just because I don't like him as a character, which is why I call him Shitty Priest. I think his name is like Amakasu or something. Let me look at it. It's right here. It is Amakasu Shiro. So I'm not the greatest, biggest fan of his character, but I can't deny how good of a unit he is. Um, maybe that's enough to kind of be like, I'd be okay with getting him, but it's not, it's not my top priority at the moment. All right, so now that we've gone through all of them, let me kind of rate I think the one I think I'm going to go for. So it's between Lancer, Rider, and Extra I think with no chance of me ever summoning on Archer, no chance of me summoning on Saber no chance on Berserker, kind of a chance on Caster, kind of a chance on Assassin but I think for my bucks I think I might risk it and go with Extra. <laughs> I think I might. There's enough units in here that I actually want and I actually really want Ciliaro dupes so I think I'm going to go for Extra class. Yeah. Alright. Uh, that's it. That's today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Uh, good luck to you deciding which GSSR if you want to. Remember, it is paid only, so not everyone does it because there's a certain amount of free-to-play characters out there. Free-to-play characters? Free-to-play players out there, but I just think the idea of getting a GSSR is too good of a thing to pass up, for me personally, anyway. But yeah, that was today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope that helped in some way. <laughs> If you're going to tell me which one you want to go for, maybe that will help me. Right now, it's really between... Uh, I'm locked in on extra, but on some days, I might actually go Lancer. <sighs> no. Yeah, okay, I'm going to go extra. All right, everyone, that's the end of today's video. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.